this is a general reading guys so this may or may not resonate with every tourist watching this video and uh time is fluid as you know guys so you could have dealt with this energy or will be dealing with it in the near future and if you need a personal reading that information is going to be down below all right the mutual energy that i have between you and the person you're dealing with is the ten of swords and the lovers all right so this is a lot of love a lot of love but something ended badly Someone could have felt backstabbed and betrayed. Maybe this person could have tried and tried and tried for a very long time um, to be in this relationship or wanting something serious is what I'm getting. But this, there, there's a feeling of uh, of um, feeling like a victim. Someone feels like a victim out here. Okay? But with the lovers here, you both love each other, but you both at the same time feel like a victim. You both feel that something wrong is done to you guys. But I feel that you both want a reunion if you guys are in separation or have had a breakup. Your feelings towards this person is the four of cups with the knight of wands, okay? So what I'm getting is that there is a, a feeling of dissatisfaction that you have with this relationship, okay? Something's just not up to the mark is what I'm getting, okay? Maybe it's like you're almost getting this relationship to roll and then it stops completely. Or there is a sense of dissatisfaction and discontentment that you have with this person, okay? Again, why? Because with the knight of wands, I feel that there's someone here who's very in and out of your life, okay? The knight of wands is a player, okay? doesn't have to be someone who has play like tendencies but this is definitely someone who does not like to be tied down to and that's one of your reasons of dissatisfaction within this because um this person could just come in and out of your life they're in it and out of it in it and out of it this person gives you what you want or they get what they want and they leave okay and they just leave you high and dry is what i'm getting their feelings towards you is with the five of wands in reverse and the three of swords in reverse okay so i feel that this person wants a reconciliation after there could have been a conflict between you guys or like things ended between you guys again okay? this person definitely wants a reconciliation they're trying to get over whatever happened in the past and they don't want to fight with you anymore okay it's almost like no drama they want to release the tension between you guys no drama no conflict they want to be on the same page with you and they want to reconcile they want to mend their heart but what I'm getting more is that they want a reconciliation with you. Your blockages is the moon in reverse, the six of wands and the three of wands in reverse. What I'm getting is that there's one person here because of the blockage, right? There's one person here who's suppressing their emotions, okay? This person needs to release their emotions. <coughs> you could be dealing with someone who's not the best at expressing themselves emotionally. Could even be someone who has a lot of fear, okay? Fear of the unknown. Or uh, there's just someone who's never been uh, so expressive, okay? This person wants forward movement with you. Over the six of wands, I'm getting a little bit of ego, okay? Someone is a little egoistic or someone's a, a little arrogant out here, okay? Could be overinflated egos between you both, all right? Uh, but uh, I feel that at the same time, I feel you guys are blocking your intuition, okay? You don't know that this is going to the right path, but you guys are blocking your intuition, which in turn, because of that, with the three of wands in reverse, I feel you guys are lacking patience. You're not being able to wait. You've manifested this relationship, but now someone's just giving up. Like, you know what? I waited and waited and waited for this forever, and it's just not happening. Again, two things. Either someone's blocking their intuition, or there's just someone here who's keeping their emotions very, very hidden. They're suppressing their emotions. They have deep emotions, which they're not ready to let out yet. What action do you plan on taking is the seven of wands and the justice here. So what I feel is that you are going to fight for what you think you deserve, okay? The seven of wands is a very, very stubborn energy, okay? I feel you're standing your ground this time and you're going to protect what you think is right. You're going to protect your, uh, um, your boundaries. You've set a boundary with this person, okay? It's like either I get... The justice, again, I'm not saying getting what you want. I'm getting justice. Justice is what, like, you want an equal give and take. You want a balance in a situation, okay? So it's almost like either I get exactly what needs to be done, okay? With the justice, you want to rectify a situation, okay? You want to make things right. You want you want to be treated fairly, okay? It could be that probably you're wanting a commitment from this person or you're just wanting something which is like a lot of equal give and take, okay? If you're investing this much, you want them to invest this too, okay? But with the Knight of Wands, again, I'm getting that this is someone, you know, who's like in and out, in and out, in and out, and you're just not having it anymore. The action that they plan on taking is nada. The Hangman in reverse and the Eight of Wands in reverse. What I'm getting is that you could be dealing with someone who um, 
that's just how this person is okay you could be dealing with someone who has a very one-sided perspective okay uh they like to see things only their point of view but also what i'm getting here is that you could be dealing with someone very very egoic okay again like i said right with the six of wands i'm seeing someone very very egoistic someone very stubborn but at the same time this person is someone who will sacrifice their happiness just to show that they're right just to prove that they're right okay and that's why they're delaying communication they're cutting communication that's why they're blocking communication this could be an online relationship okay but yeah this person's operating from their ego so yeah i'm getting stubborn i'm getting ego i'm getting defensive and ego this side with i mean just take switch the sides as you want to but right with this seven of wands and the justice i feel this is someone who is defending because they feel like this is what i've given in and this is what i deserve okay so that's being stubborn but that's creating healthy boundaries this person out here is like yeah you cut me off i'll show you what it means like to cut me off all right so this person is operating from their ego it is a stubborn energy but again it's someone very egoistic to an extent where they're ready to sacrifice their own happiness okay just to prove how right they were and i feel with the eight of wands and reverse here i'm getting more like they want to punish you you know it's like i'll teach you a lesson because look with the three of pentacles and at the bottom of the deck this person wants to work with you okay this person wants to build with you it's more like let's build let's lock let's move forward but i think that they're holding back because they want you to talk well okay your likely outcome is the sun here which is happiness clarity all right which i love why is the sun here why is the sun here the likely outcome all right so with the nine of pentacles give me one more so the sun and the nine of pentacles so i feel that you're going to get clarity about a situation and with the nine of pentacles here i feel that you're um it's almost like you know what something is going to make, make you very very happy if there was a lack of communication there was a lack of clarity in a situation more than clarity i'm getting that you're going to feel very optimistic after a while okay maybe it's a good thing that you guys are taking a break okay we can all also, also see it that way and that's what i'm getting i'm feeling with the nine of pentacles and the sun here you have you're feeling very optimistic after this break and you're realizing your worth and value and it's almost like you know what you feel you did the right thing by cutting this person off okay or by defending yourself you feel you're doing the right thing and with the five of swords at the bottom of the deck i feel you need you feel the need to stand up for yourself with the nine of pentacles you're feeling very very you realize your self worth you realize your value okay you, you realize you're very self reliant you're financially independent um you don't need anyone to make you happy you make yourself happy uh give me the nine of pentacles why one more card please yeah i think with the death card here someone is either ready to come in and transform this relationship or i think you are going through a huge transformation a huge change in your life okay i think you're ending things with this person but it could be both ways okay either you're ending things to make this person realize that this is what you want and you're setting that boundary okay or you're just ending things because you realize that you are worth uh, uh, you know what you deserve and if this person is not ready to give it to you you need to move along okay that's what i'm getting but with the sun here it is a very very good card because this is happiness being positive uh enthusiastic okay getting clarity about a situation it's like nothing is hidden anymore okay it's like you know what the situation is with the outcome and uh i feel i'm getting that you're okay on your own is what i'm getting it's like okay if you don't want to talk that's fine i'm okay on my own because i know what i'm fighting for and that's the right thing to do So that's what I have for you Taurus leave your comments below like share subscribe and I'll see you next time bye bye